What is happening, fellow Bulldog crew? This is your boy, the Bulldog here. Coming at you guys with another reaction. Now, you guys might remember my, uh, my, um, prank, my, uh, reaction to the John Cena prank call. But, um, uh, obviously, guys, another one of those prank calls videos just came across me on YouTube. Um, it's called the Ronald McDonald Best Prank Call. Um, never, um, it's by, I think, the same guy who posted the John Cena prank call. So, I'm going to check it out. Also, guys, um, this weekend is Deadpool weekend, Deadpool 2. Is hitting theaters this weekend. I'm hopefully going to see it Saturday. Give you guys my probably all be my spoiler review because I'm non spoiler reviews. I'm not really that kind of a person that does that. So I'll probably wait a bit. I won't do it right away and post that to you guys. So without further ado, guys, all right, here we go. Ronald McDonald prank call. Here we go. Let's get it. All right. There we go. Hello? Uh, good morning. I'm calling to speak to a James please. Yeah, this is James. James, uh, my name is Harold Stiles, and I'm calling you representing the McDonald's Restaurant Corporation this morning. <laughs> well, like McDonald's and McDonald's? Yes, uh, McDonald's Restaurant Corporation. Listen, uh, the reason I'm calling you today is because uh, we are legally required to inform you that McDonald's Corporation is pursuing legal action against you. Okay. Now, at some point, legal week, action. you should receive a summons to appear in court. Now, when you get there... Wait, wait. Well, hold on. McDonald's is in a lawsuit? <laughs> no, you're not understanding. Uh, McDonald's is actually suing you. Me? Why? Um, <laughs> apparently you've been participating in our current Monopoly giveaway promotion? Yeah. Of course. And apparently you've been turning in some winning pieces for prize redemption? Yeah, well, I won a medium prize. Yeah, it's been a little bit more than that. Hey, barely, maybe a, a breakfast sandwich, but that's it. Well, we've received evidence that you've turned in several game pieces, many for soft drinks and things like that. Um, that you've been and these pieces that you've been turning in were fraudulent. <laughs> yeah, it, it, um, it means they were fake, made up, uh, reproduced illegally. I know what it means. Okay, my, my pieces weren't fake. They were right off of the cup. You guys gave me so. Okay, and is that your official statement? <laughs> official statement. Hold on a sec, that's not my... <laughs> Who am I talking to? Um, like I said, my name is Harold Stiles. Um, I'm a representative for McDonald's Corp. Um, if you'd like, I can put you on speaker with the attorney who's handling our case. His name is William. Yeah, I want to talk This guy's getting right sued now, for, in charge. for prize pieces okay. from Monopoly okay. Hang on a second. Um, let me get him a second here. Okay, uh, I'm going to put you on with uh, James. He's one of the... Uh, this is fucking hilarious, guys. Defendants. Okay, James, you're on with him now. Hello. I am extraordinarily busy, sir. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Let's That's right. They're using the Willy Wonka and the chocolate. <laughs> yeah, uh, James was wondering if he gets excused um, from the oh, lawsuit. Gosh. It doesn't. It's Gene Wilder's. <laughs> that, that's what I'm saying, though. I didn't break the rules, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Under Yes. It states quite clearly that all offers shall become null and void if, and you can read it for yourself in this photostatic copy, <laughs> I shall forfeit all rights, privileges, and licenses herein and herein contained, etc., etc., fax, mentis, incendium, gloria, culpum, etc., etc., memo, bis, punitive, <laughs> so you get nothing. <laughs> you lose. Okay, first of all, don't you ever yell at me like that again. They're actually using a voiceover of Gene Wilder. Stole fizzy lifting drinks, so you got nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. I didn't steal shit from you guys. I've been eating at your restaurant for 25 years. This is how you 
treat your customers, you accuse them of cheating and threaten them with a fucking lawsuit, I'm gonna sue you your ass. Kyle, what do you think about that? I said good day! You can go fuck yourself, man. I'll see you in court then. <laughs> Hello. You stole fizzy lift cake, so you get nothing! You lose! I just told you I didn't feel shit from you guys! And I ain't no cheater! Is this what you want to do now? You want to call oh my God. You call cheaters? I can't wait to see your ass in court so I can tell everyone what you guys do! Wrong, sir! Wrong! No, right! It's your right! I'm suing your ass! Under Section 37B of the contracts, it states quite clearly <laughs> that I shall forfeit all rights, privileges, and licenses herein and herein contained, etc., etc. Yes! Oh my god, guys. Poor <laughs> guy. cut in here and interrupt for a brief moment to inform you of one more small detail in your case you know what it, it better be an apology from this hole. <laughs> well in, in a way it is um you see this is the z morning zoo radio show on z104 and uh you just got bone skin <laughs> wow guys that is awesome uh Jeepers. I love how they did the voiceover for Gene Wilder like that using his quote from the end of Charlie and or no end of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and him saying that to Charlie Bucket, you know, you win, you lose, you stole fizzy lifting drinks and you get nothing. Good day, sir. That whole entire line was from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate and they used that as a voiceover for the guy playing his his uh, lawyer. I find that hilarious. First of all, rest in peace to Gene Wilder. Um, holy crap, guys. This was funny as hell. Um, <clears throat> okay, so... Basically, okay. I feel bad, first of all. I always feel bad for these people being pranked. Not really, but kind of. And the way they did that was perfectly on put. And that... <laughs> I mean, I'll tell you... The, the, the prank calls nowadays are really, really, you know, creative. This one, however, compared to the John Cena prank call, I find this to be actually another one of my favorite prank calls of all time. Um, and, uh, I mean, John Cena prank call is still the funniest prank call. This, however, is obviously, I think, my number one favorite funniest prank call ever. So... Post your guys' comments down below. Let me know what you all, um, if you guys have seen this prank call, please let me know. Um, again, it's called the Ronald McDonald Best Prank Call. Um, look it up. Um, it's, it's really, really funny. I think you guys would enjoy it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed my video here. Make sure you leave a like. Um, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And, um... Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Jonathan Layden and on Twitter at Jonathan David Layden. Um, look forward to the Bulldog Show returning. We're still, I'm still working on getting it back on the air on PlayStation and YouTube. Um, it's just because we're still been waiting on our router. It's been taking way too long, and I really want to just, I want to call the com cable company right now and see what the hell is taking so long with this thing, but. We're taking it one bit at a time. We'll get it soon. I don't know when. No promise. I don't know exactly when, so I don't have an exact date. So, but until then, guys, look forward to the Bulldog Show. And look forward to more reactions and more movie reviews coming your way. Till then, guys, this is the Bulldog saying so long. See you all in the next video. Peace.